Welcome back. The All Africa Students Union will host the 10th Annual Africa Students and Youth Summit in July. The event slated for the 22nd and the 23rd of July hopes to bring together various stakeholders in education, youth development, policy making, among others, to deliberate on pertinent matters of interest to students and youth in Africa. Now, ASU hopes to add to the gains from last year on how to build back better from COVID-19 pandemic world and the role of young people. Secretary for Gender and International Relations, Angel Mbuthia, now joins us via phone from Nairobi, Kenya, to shed more light. Angel, good morning and welcome to Good Morning Namibia. Good morning. Thank you so much. Now, the 2021 summit will be its 10th edition. Uh, how has the summit evolved over the years and why does it remain relevant in contemporary times? The Africa Students and Youth Summit, which is popularly known as ASIS, has been held over the past decade. This summit is the largest of all summits on the continent that is being held for all students and youth. Over the past decade, the All Africa Students Union holds access to convene major stakeholders in the education and youth development ecosystem to discuss major issues of student and youth development. Over the years, the summit has seen an increase in the number of regional and global stakeholders and participants. We've had previous summits hosted in countries like Morocco, Rwanda, Ghana. And this has intensified the recognition of the summit and has attracted some for form of intangible, as well as tangible support by African governments as regards to hosting summits in their, in their respective countries. So, further, the African continent has seen an implementation of some of the outcomes of the summit, which were in the form of policy recommendations. And to date, students and youth on the African continent are not scared from the developmental challenges facing of various nations at different intensities. In fact, it has been observed and found that inequality and inequity in the distribution of resources aimed at development are negatively skewed towards students and young people who form a significant part of the vulnerable in the society. Now, the theme for this year is Act, Inspire and Scale Up, giving a fair share to end child labour. How is this in line with ASU's strategic goals and commitment towards the welfare of children in Africa? Since the last quarter of the year 2019, the All Africa Students Union, in collaboration with global organizations and known as the 100 Million Campaign for Children, has been holding a campaign dubbed the 100 Million Campaign. This campaign is aimed at ensuring that no child is left behind in the distribution of national resources. This campaign has been one of the union's flagship projects, and the success of this campaign has gained the union a recognition by international organizations, including UNESCO. The theme of the summit is directly in line with this flagship project, and our strategic goal, which is to improve Africa's educational sector and build the capacity of young people. So the union believes that improving Africa's educational sector through the enactment of feasible policies that can increase enrollment of all persons of school going age can make education available to children, thereby reducing distant work deficits, especially child labor. In fact, cases of child labor in Africa persist in rural areas where schools are largely unavailable, and even when they are available, they are, they are not affordable, which can be attributed to high levels of poverty in these areas. So due to this situation, children resort to engaging in hazardous work, which are detrimental to their well-being. Thus, a summit of this nature is necessary to hold African leaders accountable in ensuring distribution of resources that favor the improvement of the standards and quality of education. Now, Angel, what key agenda points addressed at this particular summit? So at the outset of the COVID-19 pandemic, students and young people across Africa have joined their peers around the world demanding from their leaders to deliver and defend the basic human rights, especially the rights of vulnerable citizens. From global summits around the G20, 
to local campaigns to ensure that every girl goes back to school, students and young people are stepping up to this unprecedented crisis. This is to ensure that those who need the most support receive it. Sadly, we are reminded of the disservice done to young people because if every citizen had access to their fair share of resources, policies and social protection from the state, the medium to long-term consequences of the pandemic would have been less devastating. So communities and countries could have prevented the devastation on our health system and the disruption caused our educational institutions. So the economic implications and social restrictions would have been mitigated if young people had received their full share of resources prior to this pandemic. That this summit will focus on policies that can address the problem of child labor on the continent, given that access to quality education is a key priority area of the union, and the summit targets policies that can drive an improvement in education areas where child labor is predominantly practiced, thereby reducing child labor and providing durable livelihoods for vulnerable children. Uh, the All Africa Students Union continues to foster towards pan-Africanism and African unity. Besides the summit, what are some of the focal areas and activities the union gauges to strengthen these aspects? So one of the strategic uh, priority areas of the all African Union is pan-Africanism and African culture. In the priority area in mind, the union has instituted a working group called the Pan-Africanism and African Culture Working Group. Over the years, this working group has worked tirelessly towards projects and organized webinars that are functional in promoting Pan-Africanism. So these webinars have received Pan-Africanists and experts in the field of Pan-Africanism, which includes academics and policy makers. Also, this working group has prepared several research publications that have yielded workable policies geared towards strengthening the African culture, both in the continent and in the diaspora. Apparently, the union, through the working group, is seeking to organize a year of return to African students in the diaspora and to also hold events and conferences that can promote African arts and culture. Uh, COVID-19 has drastically influenced the nature of summit hosting. How has this affected the convening and conducting of the 2021 event? Um, the outbreak of the virus has obviously disrupted the nature of activity. In 2020, due to the pandemic, the Union held its summit in line. Compared with the 2019 summit, which was held in Morocco, and the online summit had a smaller number of participants. We had also organized an um, All African Students Union She Game Award that was intended to award African uh, female student leaders, and we had to deliver our awards to their respective recipients across the continent um, by citation emails and through their embassy. And even one of the awardees is one of your own, and her name is Esther. And um, this is one of the things that are coming as a challenge as due to the COVID 19 implications. However, the hitches encountered during our Median virtual summit has been addressed, and we hope to see an increase in the number of participants this year. Um, sponsorship has become a challenge, given that many donors believe that online summit is supposed to be complex. Uh, also, given that our participants are mainly students, and later calls remain a challenge, and this could account for the low turnout during active presentation. But in essence, the pandemic has to a large extent reduce the impact that our summit can make. And one of the things that we emphasize is networking for young people across the continent to build networks that can form economic uh, building blocks for young people for the future. And this is something that we are losing out due to having uh, or the nature of activities being online. From the union's standpoint, how has the role of student unions shifted and adapted in recent years? So the role of students cannot be overemphasized. The role of student unions is basically in line to ensure academic freedom and to push for a conducive environment that allows students to achieve intended learning outcomes. However, now we realize that the focus of students is not geared towards education alone, but it is also focused on matters such as governance, uh, poverty, gender, um, capacity building, migration, um, climate change, among others. 
So this has been changing over time, and um, we are focusing uh, as students, universities being a focus of uh, leadership incubation. We hope to gear them and nurture them towards having the leaders that we want for the continent. For students and, and youth representatives who are hearing of the All Africa Students Union for the first time, how can they find out more and also participate in your activities? Mm -hmm. Youth representatives and students hearing from us for the first time can visit our website at www.asiponline.org to learn more about the union and our activities. And you can also follow us on Facebook, which is all Africa Students Union, or on Twitter, which is at AASU underscore 72. They can also email us at info at asuonline.org to be included in our database of recipients of our monthly newsletters. These newsletters highlight our activities and provide a guide on how youth representatives and students can participate in our summit. Further, since we work directly with national unions in all African countries, youth representatives and students can contact national student unions in their respective countries to know more about ongoing activities of the all African students. Well, Angel, thank you so much for taking time out to speak to us this morning. It was lovely having you. Thank you so much. Uh, we, look to, we look forward to having us in the media in the future when the globe is more settled. For now, we can all visit our social media pages and register for the assets and the part of this exchange. Thank you. Thank you. That was Angel Mbuthia talking to us all the way from Nairobi, Kenya. She's the Secretary for Gender and International Relations for the All Africa Students' Union. We'll be right back shortly.